fuck your money. How much do you need to save to tell everyone to fuck off? The number is different for everyone. Some of us are comfortable living in Thailand at $600 per month and multiplying that out by 40 years, you would only need 300K to survive. And that's assuming you never made another dollar again. For other people, fucking money is living in a Miami penthouse. Let's just call that $8,000 a month. Of rent alone over 40 years is gonna cost you four mil. And that doesn't cover the supercars, luxury clubs, and illicit substances you would definitely need for living in Miami too. Whatever fucking money means to you, let's find out if coding can help you get there. First, I want to say two things. Number one, it's okay to get into coding for money, especially initially. No one is born with a passion for Python or for loops, but you can find it as you go. Second, know that getting into coding is a long-term game. It's not a get rich quick at all. We're going to talk about that more. The long-term game though, why would you even work at all when you can get passive income from trading or from crypto? Well, if you're interested in either of those, there are two things you need to be careful of. First, with any trading or crypto, you need principal. So you need to start with some amount of money up front. If you don't have enough principal, even if you're the best trader of all time, you make a five times return in one year, and let's say you started with $10,000. Well, now you've made $40,000, congratulations. But that's still not even a half of software's developer's salary. And again, that will be pretty much make you the best trader of all time. Also, what if there's a down year or a down month? You need other more reliable sources of income to pay your bills. And I'm not just being a hater. 80% of retail traders lose money over a long-term basis. Now coding, by contrast, is not just reliable, but it is a skill you can learn and continue building on for an entire career. So it's a good use of your time to learn. Now, let me tell you this. You can't even imagine the way coding is going to help you down the line. The point is, you have a branching tree of future opportunities that you can't even see yet. There are whole subcultures of people on the internet making seven figures a year plus with startups. In the hackers community is a great place to look. There's the Y Combinator Startup Accelerator. Airbnb, Dropbox, and other companies have come out of it. And one of their requirements is effectively having at least one, ideally two technicians on a team. So I can only really speak about what I've done. And specifically for me, I mean, I was motivated by money for sure. I mean, I was living in Vietnam, eating pho every day. I fucking will never eat another pho again. Long story short, I knew coding was a good skill. It could make you a lot of money. And I had no idea what would come down the road for me because what that led to was an incredible job. That incredible job led to this YouTube channel. What this YouTube channel led to me studying my own coding bootcamp. And this all happened in just a few years. So needless to say, I'm still on my journey. I'm moving down the path, but there are still some people way ahead of me. Okay, let's talk about the actual plan. I'm gonna give you two potential long-term paths you can take, and let's just call them full-time and freelancer. We'll talk about where the paths lead and also which you should start learning today for each. Let's start with full-time. This is what's going to get you into the corporate world and here's a little preview of where that's gonna take you. So assuming you can learn the right things out of the gate, you're going to be earning six figures. Then after three to five years, assuming you're working your way up and eventually getting into a top tech company, you're gonna get up to multiple six-figure salaries. When you bake in all the compensation, you're talking three, 400K, which sounds pretty incredible and it's just for a salary job. So there's just what you do, the linear path, but there's also the directions you can go. You can join a startup in the early stages and what most people don't know is companies are gonna give you stock options. So you're going to get paid out of stock options and some people become millionaires from just joining companies at the right time. The other thing that's not to be discounted is the doors that have a credible name on your resume can open for you. Many people would say it's also not about the destination, it's about the friendships you make along the way. But no, seriously, if you're working at a legit company, you're going to meet some very smart people and tech company alumni often go on and to start massive software companies together and go through accelerators like Y Combinator. Now, if you're gonna go the full-time route, which is more traditional and more appealing for many people, what should you learn today? Well, of course you need to learn programming. 
but Python is my recommendation because it's just easier than other programming languages and it will still take you around six months to learn. Now let's talk about the second path, which fewer people are talking about, and that is freelancing. And you can actually start this path in just two or three months because the stacks you're going to learn are different and they are easier. So what exactly does freelancing unlock for you because it seems more risky and if you haven't really thought about it, then it might seem like, okay, is this really for me or not? Well, it's got a few things going for it other than just being easier and faster to learn. It's a more natural transition to becoming an entrepreneur and you're not gonna have a corporate overlord to worry about. In other words, you can treat all the wild and offensive things you want. For this path, the first step is a solo freelancer. You started with zero income and you have to slowly build your way up. But the trade-off is there's no cap to your income so you can keep building it up every day. So it's a very engaging process. You can definitely get up to the six-figure range just on a single freelancing platform like Upwork and these figures are going to be completely location and time independent. Now you're going to get two things with freelancing you won't get with corporate. You'll get meta skills like sales, marketing, customer service, and much more that you're just not going to get with the more specialized role of a full-time job. And these skills are going to pay off if you do want to start a business. There's also a very natural path for scaling into a business with freelancing. And what I mean by that is as time goes on, your schedule is going to get pretty full. So you raise your prices, but then it gets full again. And so maybe you hire a second developer to work with you. And then you think, okay, I'm doing a lot of administrative stuff. So you hire a virtual assistant. You want to get more leads. So you hire someone to work in marketing with you. And before you know it, you already have a business, AKA agency business. And you can just keep scaling this up to a massive size because when you bring in more people, your time is not a bottleneck and you can definitely get this to seven figures. Or you can just focus on the skills and use it to start another business. So long story short, if you really want to get your fucking money, you have to start a business or get into a business at the right time. But programming is a skill that's just going to be here in the future. It's a long term in many ways that we don't even see yet. It's a great way to start in the business because you have a skill with a value that you can sell. When you're just starting to learn Python, all of this information can be overwhelming. Therefore, I do not want each of you to spend 11 years or more waiting to achieve the results in programming required to be able to be qualified enough to get your first high paying job and start making real money. This is why I created my personal bootcamp, how to become a paid programmer from scratch and earn the first 100K dollars already this year. I want to convey to everyone some of the best ways that you can reach your desired income and become a highly paid programmer, which programming languages and knowledge are relevant now in our field. And I also want to show everyone a strategy, a step-by-step -step solution on how to grow your income literally every month having only the necessary skills required. After all, the customer does not care how many programming languages you know. The client only cares about whether you can provide him with a solution or not. Follow the link in the description below and take part in my top of the line bootcamp. I am certain that this bootcamp will be the starting point for you becoming a highly paid developer. Most importantly, the training is ideal for beginners because it does not require programming knowledge to start it and there's no required prerequisite that you have to have. Follow the link right now, I will be waiting for everyone.